Yes, what? my album is almost done. Ooh. I'm there. The closest that I've. Girl, we've been waiting on that album for like five years already. So what really happened? Did Normani quit music? How could somebody so talented just stop producing songs? At this rate, I'm beginning to think that Normani got blackballed because the math is not mathing. But what has she said though about being forced to possibly quit music? You know, like I was always so safe being in a girl group. I remember my mom when I was little, she was like, why do you want to be in a girl group so bad? She's like, is it so you can hide? Mm. And I think that that was pretty much the answer. Obviously, Normani was introduced to the industry when Fifth Harmony was assembled on the X Factor US in 2012. Later, they signed a joint record deal with Simon Cowell's label, Cycle Records, and L.A. Reid's label, Epic Records. And when they were together, Normani, Camilla, Lauren, Dinah, and Ali gave us some of the greatest hits. However, in 2018, Fifth Harmony announced that they would be taking an indefinite hiatus, and the group shared via Twitter, we are all very excited and grateful to be able to take this time to learn and grow creatively and really find our footing as individuals. In doing this, we are allowing ourselves to gain new experiences, strengths, and perspectives that we can bring back to our Fifth Harmony family. After the split, Normani went on to release songs like Love Lies featuring fellow R&B star Khalid, which secured her first top 10 single as a solo artist. And she also dropped several other hit songs featuring top artists like Dancing with a Stranger with Sam Smith, 2020's Diamonds with Megan Thee Stallion, and 2021's Wild Side with Cardi B. Then she just sort of stopped singing and people started wondering why. The potential was just out of this world. Well, in August 2022, Followers bombarded Normani with questions about why she quit music when somebody posted, no idea where Normani's motivation, no pun intended, has gone, but I just don't see the same passion from her as I used to. Before y'all start, it's not depression, so don't even go there. In response to the post, some even made fun, like one person who wrote on Twitter, what happens when you've gotten comfortable and you're not hungry anymore? And Normani actually replied in the thread, telling people that they should just shut the F up. Not to be shady, but it's kinda hard to shut up when you've been promising an album for years, girl. And if you are still wondering why it has taken forever, Normani herself said that one of the reasons she took a lot of time to release other songs was that transitioning from a group to a solo artist is not as easy as it may look. You know, people, people really underestimate how hard it is and how much effort we put into one project. Yeah one body of work, you yeah. know, and coming out of a girl group, there was a lot that I had to figure out about myself, mm -hmm. you know, um, and fears that I had to deal with head on. When she was asked why it was taking forever to release her album, Normani also said the same thing in an interview with Genius. You know, as much as people are like, where's the album, where's the album, where's the album? Oh, you should have put out when Motivation came out. Like, I wasn't ready. You know, I had come off of a girl group, um, that I was in for like five to six years, which is a very, very long time. Wow, that transition from a girl group to a solo artist must have really been something. And as if that wasn't enough, there has always been speculation that Normani was blackballed by Beyonce so that her protege, Chloe Bailey, could do better in the industry. Well, at least that's what people think with followers posting comments like, Normani is being blackballed by Beyonce so that her protege, Chloe Bailey, can have the spot. Normani will be denounced to Ciara status, not Ciara status, so that Chloe can be the successor to Beyonce's queen of pop throne. Damn, y'all, be easy. Okay, I don't know if Beyonce blackballed Normani, but I bet people wouldn't put it past her to do so. Just look at what she's alleged to have done to Carrie Hilson's career. I mean, homegirl even had to publicly admit that she was forced to feud with Beyonce, and it cost her years of her career. You know, when you're early in your career, you feel that you have to listen. And when you buck, they buck harder, and they make threats, and those, Threats are huge ones. And you 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 know what I mean? You don't you don't feel like you have a choice. I really didn't feel like I had a choice. Again, I can't say for certain that Beyonce is the one behind Normani's stall, but do you see how it's possible that she's being blackballed? 
Other than that, she's also been pretty open about some of the challenges she's faced in the music industry because of the color of her skin. For instance, while speaking to Allure magazine for her September 2021 cover, Normani opened up about her experiences facing discrimination because of her skin color and feeling belittled throughout her time in Fifth Harmony. Normani also said that while she was in the band, she would often receive offensive comments from people online because of the color of her skin. And she said that it really altered the perception she had of herself. She also said that having certain things happen so blatantly while also feeling like the other and being so young and hearing the public compare them took a toll on her confidence. And for a long time, she didn't believe in herself because she didn't feel like she was given the chance to. So as much as she's not facing the same things in the group, apparently Normani still went through the same things as a solo artist and that pushed her further away. In fact, Normani said that she faced a lot of pressure when it came to making her own music as she felt like she had a certain image to uphold as a black woman artist in the pop industry saying, for a long time, I was stressed out about checking boxes like, is this black enough? Is this pop enough? Plus let's be real guys, Normani probably still has PTSD from what she went through when she was still part of Fifth Harmony, something that her former bandmates have also said. I hate saying this, you know, my time in Fifth Harmony, I didn't, I didn't enjoy it. I didn't love it. It was hard because there was so much going on, so much um, behind the scenes, so much toxicity. And for those who need more input about what Fifth Harmony really went through, in 2016, they opened up about how the industry was really taking a toll on them in their cover interview with Billboard. Lauren was the first to admit that she did not have a normal life and at some point even forgot who she really was and even started using drugs to feel normal. Dina also said at the time, I love touring, but the schedule traumatized me. I was like, what kind of job are we doing? I watched my girl great grandmother be buried on FaceTime. The pressure was so bad that Camilla once left the stage in the middle of a performance and then later explained that she had left because of anxiety. Around the same time, Lauren also broke down on stage while singing No Way, but later apologized, saying that the lyrics just made her really emotional. But in the real sense, she was just so overwhelmed. There was also a time when audio leaked with Lauren saying that the band was being treated like literal slaves. To make us literal slaves. Like literally slaves. I mean, literal slaves, huh? I literally doubt that. You know, maybe it was still the same thing after Normani went solo and she just couldn't deal with it. In addition, Normani has also had to deal with a lot of personal stuff. Like, did you know her mom was diagnosed with breast cancer? At some point, Normani had to go back home and just deal with that. And the process obviously took a toll on her. So as you can see, it's been difficult to put her focus on music. Well, in case she does release new music, this is what Normani promised. For me, I like quality over quantity for sure, but I also know that it's a game and the way that people digest music is so different than it was back in the day. So it's having to adapt to that, but also making sure that you put out something that's authentic to you. To my fans, I'm appreciative because they've walked with me and they have been patient. And I know that it's frustrating, but I would ask them to trust me. Well, the only thing her fans can do is wait. But are you still waiting for the album to drop? Or do you think Normani is done with music for good? What do you think really pushed her to the edge? Is it possible that Beyonce blackballed her so that her protege Chloe could do better? Cause surely you see how it's not normal that she just stopped producing music, right? I'd like to know what you think about this whole situation. So sound off in the comment section below.